Welcome, this is Zangler, the Tesla Semi Stalker, bringing you today's Tesla Semi factory construction video for 8-28-24. We've been having some fun trying to predict how many columns would be up since the Tesla Semi Advocate's last flight 48 hours ago. At that time, on Monday, 8-26-2024, there were three columns, which were a watershed event as this project transitions into the steel assembly phase. So you may have been able to count in the opening still shot how many columns were there, were there but we can certainly, uh, you'll have a very good opportunity to see it up close and later on in the video. We're starting off with a um, view of the Tesla Semi Factory construction site from the south looking north, a little bit southwest looking uh, northeast. And I thought we'd start the video off with here and then end with the, um, the main event, so to speak. This is the, uh, this is the uh, opening act. A lot of interesting things to see, though, as we go along the way, and we'll talk about it. A lot of activity. Concrete is being poured. Uh, footings are being dug. Steel is being assembled. Additional steel is being staged for imminent assembly. And um, there's just a lot going on. This is an indication of Tesla speed when it comes to factory construction. And I gotta believe that this is the uh, state-of-the-art best practice incorporating all of the learnings from the previous gigafactories. And we're gonna find out as, as the uh, days and weeks and months come, we'll see this thing come to life. And at the very end, you'll see one more rendering of the completed factory. Um, to visualize what all of this is about. We are now uh, going along the eastern perimeter. We, we traveled up along the southern perimeter and now we're coming up the eastern perimeter. You'll see later concrete is being poured, but here is more trenching versus foundation work, trenching for um, utilities, I would guess electricity. Uh, one of the re one of the viewers talked about a factory construction he, he was involved with and giant bus bars put in at various locations and then and then as they uh, put in the uh, assembly line for the semi factory they could tie into those bus bars but and it's a little bit flexible although I think they've got a pretty solid design these are uh, these here you can see footings where the uh, initial Deep, deepest part in the center has been poured with concrete and that is curing. And then uh, we're gonna see a lot of concrete in the coming weeks and months. The ubiquitous water truck to the right. Now we're coming up to the main event. You can see they're building forms along the northern perimeter. Lots of concrete. Uh, those footings are similar to the ones we just saw, which only the bottom part was poured, but those are um, those have column bases ready for the assembly. And here we go. A very patriotic, very um, exciting to see the American flag hanging on the northwest corner. Uh, just just a really uh, good symbol of American ingenuity. I'll leave you with a little view of this and a little later you'll get a good count but I'll go ahead and uh, spoil it for you there are 18 columns assembled and 17 beams connecting those columns we did a poll earlier uh, yesterday and that ended a short while ago and um, the uh, the, the 18 fell in the third most popular selection. One thing you'll notice 
that I noticed here is, and we'll maybe get a little bit better look at it in a second, but they are staging steel on the in interior of the um, factory here. They're going to start assembling the interior steel. As a matter of fact, I don't believe they can. Um, I think they have a lot of concrete to pour on, in both the north, uh, I should say, in the easterly direction and in the southerly direction going to the right before they can put more perimeter columns up. So you here is you can see not only have they staged columns and uh, beams, but I spy trusses. They actually have roof trusses over there. So that to me tells me something that um, I was curious about. They are not going to put all of the columns and beams in and then assemble the trusses. And it would make my prediction that they're going to bring a crane in for trusses um, apparently be inaccurate. Uh, I think there will be a point where cranes come in, but they're going to use them very judiciously and save capital. And if you're a Tesla shareholder, that should make you happy. This is again the uh, master shot feature where uh, the drone takes over and it does a look around. So if you have any complaints, tell it, tell it to the warden. Here we can finally get a look and count. If you, if you pause the video, you can count that there's eight heading from northwest to um, along the northern perimeter and there's 10 heading from the uh, northwest south and if you'll see they don't ha I don't believe they're prepared to start putting up more perimeter columns for quite some time but I think they're going to start working inward the thing I want to talk about, I've been thinking about, is um, you notice how there's a, in the background there's a big section where they haven't even begun to dig um, footings. Here's a quick look at the closed uh, second new entrance to the Gigafactory Nevada. Um, curious that they're not using that. All the concrete and all the construction trucks are having to come through the main gate. But um, what I was saying is, if you recall, Giga Texas that doesn't necessarily have to be 100% complete, the entire building. They could, they could, um, they may plan on building a section of it and completely closing it off and focus on that in order to get the production line installation process going quicker. And then whatever the mystery project is that they also are going to use the factory for, that could be um, deferred and that but that may be why you don't see footings dug um, in the uh, southeast corner of the um, footprint again here's the apron and what i mean by the fact that i don't think they can go much further to the left which is south is that apron doesn't continue very far they can pour that pretty quick and the footings are already there we saw that they put those columns up shortly after the um, that apron was poured because the uh, footings themselves that the columns rested on or were, were attached to had been poured weeks earlier. Here's a couple of uh, concrete trucks and um, looks like they're in the concrete pouring phase and thank you very much for joining. We're going to uh, fly again in two days and it'll be interesting to see what they've got going at that point. Thank you.